get down to business. Here we go. What a nice place you have here. Very comfortable. Thank you. I worked hard to earn it. No, you didn't. You're just a lucky bastard. Now, let's get to the point. Tell us how this rating system works. Okay. It's a way to cut the middleman and go straight to the opinion that matters. The people. Yes, yes. We've heard you dislike the credit union and all that, but how does it work? Customers simply come to your place, eat, and they review it from 0 to 5. Stars. Then, I pick up all the reviews and show them to you. So you're selling us a complaints box. Mm, not quite. I also keep a track of the reviews in my office, publish pamphlets, keeping track of the restaurants with standardized score based on customer satisfaction. This way, you only need to answer to your direct feedback, and the prestige will follow with no intermediaries. Except you. You're the middleman here. My opinion does not count, otherwise the system would make no sense. Uh huh, okay, and how did this work? Well, customers will rate the restaurant based on two things. How much they like the menu, and if the decor is to their taste. You both match your expectations, and it'll give more favorable feedback. If they don't like something, they'll let us know in the comments. Customers have varied tastes, so we need to make sure that each dish on the menu includes a specific ingredient, or a particular flavor that they like. The menu has limited space, so we want to satisfy as many customers as possible with the fewest dishes. Some customers are fine with basic decor, but others will want something a little more spectacular. We've only got so much space in the restaurant, so we'll need to place them on the wall as well as on the floor. Does all of this make sense so far? Sounds simple enough. What do you think? I've find it a bit nonsensical, but I also know that the credit union won't even bother to look our general direction at the moment. Might as well try this gimmick, even if it is just a publicity stunt. Alright then, we're in, let's do it. We will change the world together, partners! We're not partners. The restaurant is ours, not yours. Mine, not ours. Whatever. But he's not getting a share. Oh, I don't want money. This is not about that. Then what is it about? Revenge. Huh? No worries. If you win, I win. We all win, right? So what's the worry? Uh, la the orcs. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Blowing up our restaurant for one? Oh, them? No worries. I got them under control. Alright. If you say so. You won't regret this. I'm regretting it already. Okay. Well. Should we put in another table? I don't know. It's kitchen. Cook your stuff here. Oh, we do need a kitchen, I guess, don't we? Can I put it back here? Oh, we already have a kitchen. Is that what this is? This looks like that. Uh, can we put it here? No, because it's not green, it's yellow. Why, where do we put it? Or maybe we, we're not supposed to put it anywhere yet. Or do we upgrade our current kitchen with this one? Does it go over the top of it? No, okay. Well, let's put in another customer table just for the hell of it. Okay. Let's go this way. Oh, God. We have people. These aren't even lined up. That's going to be annoying. Alright, can I, like... Hmm. Oh, look, there's water underneath us. That's not scary. Okay, well, their tables are really close together. Can we just destroy this? Yeah, it won't give me wood back for it, but... Oh, yes it does. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Um, customer table. I want it... Here. There. Perfect. Alright, looks better. Keep improving the restaurant's prestige. I don't know how to do that. Change clothes. Okay. 
The restaurant needs to have tables for all the clients. Well, you're the only client in here. And there's plenty of tables for you, so I don't see what the complaint is. Um, side missions. Can we go to the beach, or is it too late? It might be too late, but I'm gonna try it. It, I don't know, the waypoint's still down there. It might let us. Who's that? Is that who we need to talk to? I think I know you. Huh? Yes, you were the waitress at Bequonio. Oh yeah, you're the one that came and crushed Rapio with a food fight. Yeah, I lost my job when you pulled that hell of a trick. I see, I'm sorry. I could talk to Mitrail. Mitrio? I don't know her name. You make a few arrangements if you want. At least I could do. Oh no, not a chance. I won't work at a restaurant ever again. Especially that one. Was it that bad? It's not about the experience. It's about what I'm missing out on. Missing out? I didn't come here to be a waitress. I came here for the sea. The sea. Are you one of those wave riders? Quite right. I've surfed so many beaches around Folger. I've ridden gigantic waves to the exotic lands of Zun. I conquered a tridal wave in the western isles of Nyar... Nyarnia? Nyarnia? Sounds fun. You bet. I invite you to try, but the waves aren't helping, helping today. The sea is horribly dull most of the time around here. So it's called the Gulf of Calm for a reason. I thought it was because of the wall protecting the area from pirates and sea monsters. Yeah, I thought that too. Well, never mind. I don't even own a board anyways, and I'm broke, so can't afford a new one. Sucks extra hard because there's a championship soon, and I'm sure I'd ace the damn thing. I see. Maybe I can help you get one of those boards. How? Uh, I was expecting you to tell me that there's a cooking tournament nearby that offers one of those boards as a reward, and I could do it and win. No. Frankly, that would be too convenient. Silly, even. Yes, I suppose it would. Even in this town. However, there's a guy in a shop around here who has a fantastic wooden one for sale, but he says he, Jesus, needs a victory token. How did you know? Been there, done that. Yeah, sure. Guess I can manage to get you one of those now that I'm a licensed chef and all that. Really? You go through all that just because? Uh, not just because. You lost your job because of me, so, sure. Guess I'll sleep better if they let me. They? Long story. Anyways, let's focus on that token. Does just any token work? Thank you, but these are special promotion tokens. I've heard there's a couple guys by the docks who give them to the skilled chefs. They wear a colonium garment. There's no missing them. I'll see what I can do. Okay, well. Gotta go to the docks, I think. We have to go check out the docks and for the next part of the quest anyways, so. Let's see. What's up, Will? Are you the guys that offer a victory token? I know you, you're the owner of your local restaurant, right? That makes you apt for the best. Feeling confident? It's motivational service, you don't have to pay. I don't think I have ingredients. No, I don't have ingredients. It's gonna be bad. Well, I'm gonna have to come back with ingredients, because this is... Unless I can make wood. Can I cook wood? Yeah, this isn't gonna work. Okay, so he likes mechanical and a star. What's a star? A special ingredient, and that's fish. I don't have that fish. It's just surrender. Get the hell out of here. There's a surrender flag, are you sure? Yes. It, yes. I hit no. Okay, well... Okay, so I need mechanical star and uh, that fish. I don't know what that fish is. 500 bucks for a rod? All right, I'll take it. Well, that's how we get the fish. That solves my problem. Um, fishing pole? We just throw this out there? Fishing. No bait. Uh, 
stole my jack. Alright. What the hell? Dude? I'm hitting E, but it doesn't really move the freaking... Okay, I gotta figure out how to do this. Can we cast a seaweed on the, the line? How do we... I'm hitting E, but nothing moves. Um, excuse me? Yeah, E does nothing. Alright, the mouse click. Right mouse looks like it was moving it to the right. How did I do it the first time? Shit luck. That's what that was. Like, I'm moving the arrow with the mouse buttons. Okay, so right mouse button goes right, left mouse button goes left. I hate that it says E on the freaking thing because E does nothing. Who do I hit E when I'm in the, the blue? Oh, E makes it go down. This is, uh, this is like Stardew Valley fishing is what this is. A crab. I don't want a crab. Can we fish with the crab? All right, we'll do one more. thing moves a lot by itself. I think there's a little fish. A fire goldfish. We can't fish with the fire goldfish though. Okay. What do we have? Yeah, it, it likes... I'm moving that arrow. The arrow that you see, I'm moving the arrow. With the left and right mouse button. And you gotta keep it in the blue. But the arrow moves by itself quite a bit. Yeah. Alright, I want one of those fish. The one that uh, we have to cook with. Mm, Alright, nope, the fire gold fish. Now, I mean, it wouldn't be bad, right? Like, no, that's star. Yeah, that little star thing. If we put two of these fish together, you get a 1.8 bonus. I don't know if I have anything that... That yeah, mechanical... That mechanical thing is... I feel like I have something that has the mechanical little gear on it, but I don't know what it is. Maybe I don't. I could just be bullshitting, but I thought I did. I have plenty of crabs, and crabs are real easy to get, so if that, that's what you need for fishing, well, we're in good shape. Yeah, I, don't, I still don't understand what E does. Okay, so a crab catches the fire goldfish. It's telling me to go over there and learn how to fish. I've just been fishing. I know how to fish. Alright, I'll come over here and entertain you. What do we got? Did I talk to you? What is it? I just bought a fishing rod and I would appreciate a few tips. Well, I, I figured it out. I just need to know what bait catches what. And I think you learn that just by fishing. Equip the fishing rod. You can find it in your inventory. I'm holding it in my hand, dumbass. Stand at the water's edge. Press E. When you charge in bait, the line will catch. When you hook something, fishing, me fishing meter will appear. You need to keep the marker within the blue cut zone until the meter is full. Stay outside the zone for too long and your potential cast will escape. Got it? I think so. Let's try it. Let's see if you can manage to catch a fire goldfish. Alright, well, I've got three of them in my inventory. Does that, does that count? Having three of them already in my pocket? No? Alright, that's cool. So let me guess. I'm going to catch seaweed and then i got to catch a crab and then i got to catch a fire goldfish. There's the seaweed. Now a crab. A 
Uh-huh. There's the crab. I can throw this in there and then that turns into a goldfish. Yeah, I wonder if you can use like normal food items like tomato, potato, carrot, rice to fish. Alright, dude. Alright, so you just there is no quest. It was just like, hey, try to I did. Take a fish. Okay, I gotta put it in my hand. I forgot about that part of the game. You gotta, you gotta equip Sir Fish. All right, I got your fish. Well, here, you want your fish? Take a look at this. Guess you call yourself a fisherman now. Let's fish more together. Been a fisherman for long? I'm not a fisherman, mate. No, I'm a fish elf. Yeah, fisher elf. I can tell by his name. All right. Should have seen that one coming. I'm Zest, a cook, sort of. You've got unusual hair. You've got unusual hair color for an elf. Even more unusual ears for a human. Huh? So you're a human, not an elf. Or is that just a bad joke as in, I'm not a human, that's why my ears look like this. Can't argue with that. I changed my hair color when I reached Ambrosia about 30 years ago. You came from the hom homogeny territory then? Sure as hell did. Crossed the sea, established myself here, and ten years later, wham! War. I'm not old enough to remember life before the entombed conflict. It was nice, but after the shaky events of the last decades, people seem to value the pleasures of life a lot more. Got any trouble about your origins? In Concordia? Nah. There's quite a few exiled elves here. Even big guys like Bolton. People tend to mind their own business around here and be friendly. Yeah, well, the guy at the store wasn't exactly the friendliest, but he didn't even bother to answer my questions. You mean old Peg? <laughs> yeah, of course. He didn't answer your questions. Because I have not earned his respect as a fisherman? Question mark? Maybe because of that. Maybe he won't even bother to say hi to you until you've shown him the greatest catch in the golf. But I personally feel more inclined to think that he doesn't want to talk to you because a shark bit his tongue off 15 years ago. That, uh, yeah, that might have something to do with it. And I don't know how. It had to be shocking. The experience left him speechless. Oh, God. The jokes and the puns are just so much. Don't make fun of his trauma. Don't worry, he's over it. He's had enough time to lick his wounds. Alright, let's not add salt to the wound. Oh my god. We want to be able to taste it anyways. Okay, well, he wouldn't be able to taste it anyways. I screwed up the joke. But they're still going on. Let me guess, another one's coming? Done? For now. But if you feel bad about him, maybe you could bring him a little something. It's an old recipe he loved. A fire goldfish. It had to be cooked 20 vigorous. But he ate them... Ate it almost every day until the only chef in the city could prepare it and died during des the desperate strain stand. Okay, so he wants a fire goldfish with 20 vigorous. I could probably do that. You're the owner of the local restaurant now, right? Maybe you could cook something for him. He has no tongue. It's not like he would be able to taste it anyways. That's the thing with the recipe. It's so vigorous that even someone like him can feel the effects on his palate. So vigorous is like spicy. Or hotness, I'm guessing. I'll think about it. You better. Okay, well. I gotta make a dish for the orc. But for now, I'm gonna go to bed and change the day or the time to daytime. And, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna end this video here. This is uh, a lot in this this day here a lot more than I thought it was gonna be <laughs> um, yeah anyways thank you for watching and I'm just gonna go to bed and we'll wake up I'm gonna make a goldfish dish I'm gonna give it to that orc and he's not gonna like it that's just my thoughts and we'll see what happens so thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next video bye bye